Well, hello and welcome to our second Linton prayer service. I'm Bruce from First Congregational, here at First Congregational Church, and I'm with Reverend Dr. Tim Doty from First Presbyterian Church. And we have a wonderful relationship between the two congregations, and it is always a, a delight and a joy for brothers and sisters in Christ to worship together. So we hope you uh, enjoy these uh, services and that you find meaning in them in your Lenten journey. I will light a light in the name of the maker who lit the world and breathed the breath of life for me. I will light a light in the name of the sun who saved the world and stretched out his hand to me. I will light a light in the name of the Spirit who encompasses the world and blessed my soul with yearning. We will light three lights for the Trinity of Love. God above us, God beside us, God beneath us, the beginning, the end, the everlasting one. The knees of our hearts we bow. In the sight of God who created us, in the sight of the Son who died for us, in the sight of the Spirit who helps us in friendship and affection. Through your own Son, O Maker of all, grant us the fullness that our lives long for. Love for God, love from God, the smile of God, the grace of God, the wisdom of God, the fear of God, the imagination of God, and God's purpose in all things. So may we live in this world as saints and angels do in heaven. Each shadow and light, each day and night, each moment in kindness, give us your spirit. Amen. O God of the weak, O God of the lowly, O God of the righteous, O shield of your people, speak now through your word. And our scripture is from the fourth chapter of John. It's the story of the woman at the well. Jesus left Judea and started back to Galilee, but he had to go through Samaria. So he came to a Samaritan city called Sychar, near the plot of ground that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired out by his journey, was sitting by the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone to the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us the well? and with his sons and his flocks drank from it? Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. O oh God of all gods, grant us your light this night, your grace as we sleep, 
and let us be made pure in the well of your health. Lift from us any anguish, take from us empty pride, and lighten our souls with the light of your love. Jesus Christ, Son of Mary, Holy Spirit, light of life, shield and sustain us and all our dear ones this night and every night. Amen. On our heads and our houses, the blessing of God. In our coming and going, the peace of God. In our life and believing, the love of God. At our end and new beginning, the arms of God to welcome us and bring us home. Amen. Amen.